Hello, it's me again. I'm back. It's been snowing. So I'm sat in the car trying to multitask, which is talking to you and switching all the uh, vents on in the car because it's uh, frozen up. Uh, I'm not in the van. I'm in my car because the van is two-wheel drive. And my car is four-wheel drive. <laughs> so I'm not going out in the van. It hasn't even got winter tyres on it. So they've been going on about this beast from the east. Uh, a weather front that's come through and hit Britain, uh, which is a bit of a joke really. It's made up by the media. At the end of the day, it's a cold snap. Uh, I have resorted to wearing a coat. However, I did get out a couple of days ago and it was too windy for the tripod. So I handheld, uh, shot at ISO 200, I think, uh, just to settle things down. I had VR on and it was after a high key shot and uh, we got the shot. Uh, and I'll just show you how windy it was and then the shot will follow. Conditions are rather mad today. Uh, it's minus 10 and then we've got up to 50 mile an hour gusts and wind chill on top of that minus 10. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, conditions to be added but cold. We pulled up and we're literally only about a quarter of a mile from my new house. We're not moved in yet. And that's why I've driven, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered, I would have walked. You do see funny things when you come out. There's a guy with a dog. There's nothing worse, because i got a little dog and he's really well behaved and he listens to what I say. There's this guy out here today with his dog and he keeps shouting, you, you, come here. The dog's paying no attention to him whatsoever. Rudy! Hear him? Rudy! Rudy! Rudy keeps Rudy off the wrong way. Got <laughs> Rudy. Rudy! <laughs> Should laugh. <laughs> Should laugh. Rudy's owner is over here somewhere, over on that hill. And uh, here's Rudy. He's good to see me. And that's not good, because I can't leave the dog here. Can I? Can't leave you here, Rooney. You can say hello, Rooney. Oh, oh. Here's Rooney. Say hello, Rooney. Hello. Oh, we don't know where his odour is. Oops. Yeah, sniff, sniff, sniff. I'm going to leave him out here. I've rung the number on his collar. And he's uh, going to answer phone. So it's one of those things, what do you do? Dog owners will tell me, leave him alone, he'll find his own way home, but it's minus six, minus seven. And he's stood here looking perplexed as if to say, where do I go? Rooney has taken over the vlog. It's meant to be a photography vlog and it's uh, hilarious. The last time you saw me was uh, with Rooney, the dog. Uh, it's another day because I had to get Rooney home uh, and he do not live far away from here. So he's safely back at home. Uh, but today we've got a perfect storm, which what I mean is, is it's not stormy, uh, anything but it's actually started to thaw. Uh, but we've got fog and we've got snow. And fog and snow. Uh, and this type of light works really well for those simple fine art shots. So, ethereal shots. Fine art shots. If uh, I just show you this shot now, this was taken at the height of the bad weather here. And what we've got there is a shot taken at minus 10, I think the weather was. And it was windy. And you can see that it looks foggy. It wasn't actually foggy, it was the um, um, wind whipping up the snow. It's still brass monkeys cold. In fact, it frees the balls off a brass monkey and that's not rude. That's a nautical navy term. Uh, comes from the ships and cannonballs. 
because they used to sit on a triangular brass monkey to hold them in place and then the cannonballs would be put on top of each other like a pyramid and then when it got cold the brass would contract at a different rate to the iron cannonballs and they'd fall off and then they say freezing the balls off a brass monkey don't say that I don't ever teach anything if you knew it already well done slight detour uh, I'm in the woods now unfortunately I am no Simon Baxter but when you've got conditions like this you've got to come and have a go haven't you really I remember when you're shooting in snow that you want to be about one stop overexposed uh, depending on how bright it is, is if you're in really bright conditions you might have to go to two stops overexposed so I'm actually about one and a half now and I'm not blowing out the highlights what we're basically going to do is we're going to take an image uh, as you can see on screen here um, and what we're emphasizing is on the right hand side and uh, if I just bring my finger in there we've got that tree that bends and comes round and almost hugs the composition uh, but the main element of the shot is going to be the tree right in shot here and we are all guilty of thinking right we need to go and get uh, the, uh, a big vista but if you go and look at people like uh, Colin Bell and even Simon Baxter um, a lot of their shots are awesome because of their intimacy they take specific parts of the landscape and they shoot them uh, uh, and create stunning awesome shots and I've got to say that my shooting this year is going to be more intimate type shooting because it's what I love um, don't get me wrong I love my seascapes and I love my uh, big vistas but there's something beautiful about those intimate shots and uh, if you do and get chance I mean a lot of you'll be aware of Simon because uh, he vlogs but if you can get a chance and go and have a look at uh, Colin Bell's work he's on Flickr uh, and if you put Colin Bell photography or come in on Google and just look at his shots and he's a great one for shooting in uh, fog as well and uh, you look at these shots and it's like Simon's shots and you think well how have they done that because it just doesn't look like you could get it in camera but when you do what those guys do and go back week after week and, and, and wait for the conditions of the uh, in the area that you're shooting you know well because Simon knows the stuff like in, in the, like the back of his hand uh, and goes back week after week and month after month until he gets the shot and that's why he's uh, as successful as he is uh, same with Colin um, but they're waiting for the right conditions because if I came into this wood uh, and just shot this wood without the fog then it won't show or be anywhere near as uh, 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 interesting as without so that's a ramble isn't it but this is that shot that we just taken of that there tree behind me Sometimes you can be walking through the woods or you can be walking around and you'll see something and you think to yourself, I like that shot, uh, let's get it. And you can't be doing with carrying your tripod, so you're out just with the camera. And that can be taken with an iPhone, it can be taken with anything, it doesn't need to be a DSLR, does it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you down and I'm going to take a couple of shots handheld and if it works, I'll put them on the screen. Uh, and if he doesn't, I won't, and you won't even see this. Now what I've just done there is I've isolated a lovely dead tree. It's not dead at all, it's alive, but it's got a lot of dead leaves on it. And they are golden brown, even with um, 
handheld. It's not just snap, snap. What I'm looking is I've, I've seen the composition. And when you look at the image, you'll see uh, uh, how on the right hand side, I've got a tree in the background. And then I've got this dead tree in the middle. And then on the left hand side of the shot, uh, you'll see the tree with the dead leaves on it. Conditions are just absolutely amazing. Only thing that you could do with is just that sun breaking through and it'd be perfect. But I find with life that sometimes it ain't perfect. And life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I heard somebody say that before on a vlog. Viewer wipe. So I could get my tripod out and uh, take this shot. But again, it's one that smacks for a quick handheld shot. So nothing special about this, it's just a case of getting the... Uh, just checking it's on, getting the uh, camera out. That's the end of this shoot, because we've lost the battery. And I do have other batteries, uh, but they aren't working, any of them, because of the cold. We didn't get the tree because the camera died, but it was an interesting vlog, I think so. Anyway, I've enjoyed myself, and uh, if these conditions carry on, I'm going to come out without you guys and get a couple more images. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you like, if you don't know, and peace.